Today on Simple Life Pattern Company, we have an awesome so long planned for you. Summer is fast approaching, and wouldn't you love to be ready when it gets here? Let's start by sewing up a couple of these super easy Daytona tank tops. You are going to absolutely love this sew along. It's a fun, easy pattern, and I hope you will join me. Welcome back. So for today, we are going to use the paper pattern to cut out our fabric. Here I have my two back bodice pieces already cut out, my front bodice, and I have also gone ahead and traced the darts. The darts are quite easy to transfer onto your fabric. Let me show you how. First, take your paper pattern piece and cut along the dart lines. Next, you're going to place the paper pattern on top of your fabric and use your fabric marking pen to trace the dart onto your fabric. Easy, isn't it? All right, let's move on. I have also gone ahead and cut out my straps. Next, we're going to iron the interfacing to the wrong side of our fabric. And just to note, the interfacing is only needed for the facing pieces. Once that is done, you're going to cut out your facing fabric pieces. And guess what? We are ready to start sewing. The first thing that we're going to sew is our darts. So you're going to fold your darts right sides together. The extended dart legs should be used to help in aligning the dart correctly. Pin the dart together at the end of the dart legs and at the dart point. Use extra pins if needed. Sew your darts together. Start sewing from the dart legs to the dart point. Do not backstitch at the dart point. Instead, stop sewing and cut a long thread tail, which you will use to create a knot to secure the threads. Press the darts towards the hem of the shirt. Next, we are going to sew the two back bodice pieces right sides together. Our last step for today will be to pin the front and the back bodice right sides together and sew the side seams. Meet me back here tomorrow where we will move on to the straps.